I found a marketplace today that I think is going to be a good um, piece to redo. Uh, the ladies actually ended up giving us the item for free. They ended up moving and they don't need it anymore and they just want to get rid of it and so they're giving it to us. So we're really excited about that. I feel like it's going to be a good project and I think we can make a good amount of profit off of it especially considering it's free so it's pitch black outside so the lighting is terrible in the car but we're excited lady yeah. just pulled a stinky on us <laughs> and uh, she made us think that her address was somewhere else but it was not well she gave us an address and it was it led us to nowhere and then she was yeah. like, oh, that's so weird. Yeah, why is it weird? It's probably because it's not your address. She's like, my house is way on down the road. We're like, uh-uh, okay. So, yeah, we kind of figured that when we saw the, uh, where it looks like it needs to be bush hog times four. <laughs> With no building there either. It's like a sketchy like carport standing in the woods. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not walking back in the woods to get this thing. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna die for this. And what's weird is she just so happened to pull into this road right where we were, too. Yes. So, anyway. So, she tried to pull a sneaky on us. That's but fine. But she doesn't look sketchy. She looks like she's being prepared in case we were sketchy, I guess. Yes. Okay, the TV stand is sold. They're coming to pick it up now. Um, I've sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $75, which is a pretty good profit considering I didn't pay anything for it. So, $0 into it and $75 in my pocket. So, very excited. And I think I only had it for about 24, no, hold on. Not even 24 hours because it's been posted on Facebook for about 18 hours. Okay, guys. I'm pulling out the Canon G7X today. We are going to the thrift store today as a family. Very excited, we're gonna look for some deals and I figured that this camera would be a lot less noticeable than my huge Sony because uh, it's a little embarrassing. So, anyway. Let's go, little man. You wanna go find some deals? Oh, he's like, yep. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Say, come on, daddy. Hurry up and get home. Wow. This thrift store experience has not been great. I've not found anything. It's been a little bit of a bust. We've went to two already. We're gonna go to another one that's kind of more usually more pricey than I like, but I'm desperate. Okay, so we got her in the house. Lucy's checking her out, but we're gonna rip the skirts, the grandma skirts off the bottom to make them look a little bit more presentable. And then we're gonna stage this bad boy. I really wish it was daylight outside so I could take pictures with natural light. I might do that. I don't know. I really wanna get it listed, so we'll see.
Okay, so what's this technique that we're doing? It's called rip and tear. <laughs> Ripping the granny skirt. Hopefully it comes off good. Ooh. I think it will. Oh, oh, oh. Have we hit a... This. An issue, a double lined. Mm. I think you'll just have to rip it off in layers. I don't know. Maybe. Is it gonna look okay? Yeah, keep going. And then maybe do the top and then you'll have to do that bottom layer. So this is going to show the mid-century modern legs, hopefully. Wow. It's pretty easy. Also, it helps it look a lot less granny-like. Learn this on YouTube. Give it a little rippy. Ripping skirts. This is, uh, <laughs> so, do you want this piece gone? That, no, that can stay on there, I think. Well, it depends on what happens when you rip that other one off. How it looks, I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it'll look fine. I think I just didn't get that whole thing. And we'll have to pull. Oh man, I wish I would've got a picture before. I got a video. This better? already looks so much better. Yes! From granny to boho chic over here, or whatever. It kind of looks like it would have come from anthropology or something, which is stupid expensive. Sweet. Hey, quick turn. What are you gonna put on there? See, this is my first one doing a shirt like this. I mean, realistically, compared to what I was watching, I think go quickly for 150. But because I've never done it, I don't know what to expect. You don't have a belt, couple things you gotta remember. You don't have a velvet chair. So, right. that's what everybody <laughs> truly wants. To get here and find the towel chair they want. <laughs> the towel chair? I kind of think it makes it a little bit cooler. More unique. The arms have a little couple spots on it, so do a quick rub down with some soap and water. And then the last thing is under here. I'm gonna do this first. So, we got this furniture marker thing. Um, I actually bought it for our coffee table, but I got it from Target, and I think it's like six bucks or seven dollars. And it is really making a difference. So, let's see. I might take a before and after picture too. Okay, hold on. All right. Here we go. Wow, you're straight up coloring it. Yeah. I think it's better that way. Yeah, it looks, so, it already looks so much better. Now I'll take that and wipe it down a little bit. And I'll do the front, just this edge right here. Yeah, it works. You need to carry a knock on it. Your liability's done. <laughs>